Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. I don't know if you're getting a glare because it's dark now, you know, like outside or whatever. Anyway, guys, what is going on? Let me adjust myself. Let your girl get situated. I'm trying. Hold up. All right. I'm going to pull my seat up. All right, guys, we are starting with bricks and pillows. If you are new, hello. Welcome back to my OGs. What is going on in your relationship? Uh, let's find out. Guys, don't forget to like the video and or make a comment. It's an easy way to support the channel and to let me know that you are here. And it also encouraged me to do more videos. All right, guys, bricks and pillows in your relationship. What's going on? How are they feeling, thinking, whatever, whatever? It could be you leading the conversation. Bricks and pillows. Should we try again? So somebody wants to know, look, should we do this again? Should we try it one more time? The last time, should we try again? They said it's just a matter of time. Maybe something's going on in their life. Maybe it's just a matter of time before they reach out. If you're not in communication, but definitely a matter of time. A matter of time. Dee -dee -dee. Who said? Um, I can't think of his name. It's a matter of time. They say you feel like home to me, so they're very comfortable with you. Like you feel like home to them is just warm and they feel safe. One more. And you inspire me. So you inspire this person. Should we try again? You feel like home to me. And it's just a matter of time before something happens. All right, guys. Let's put some psychic tarot on here. Just to dig a little deeper to see what your little mindset is. What's going on? with this person what are they dealing with they're suffering in silence something is going on they're suffering in silence guys your person's not happy they're not happy they're sad uh transformation they're definitely changing things could be changing in their life they could be changing um, uh, they're definitely doing some shadow work. So they're looking back at things, suffering in silence. That's usually what shadow work is. Shadow work is never easy. It's almost like you gotta face yourself and see all your rights, your wrongs, where you can improve, where you know you messed up. It's like you're confronting yourself. Be like, you know what you did to me? You know, all this type of stuff. <laughs> so they're definitely doing some shadow work and suffering in silence. They feel like they're dealing with an emotional loss. This, the emotional loss have come out a few times, guys. In the past few readings, it's like that regret as well. They're sad. It's an emotional loss. Maybe the emotional loss is you because they definitely want to try again. But they're suffering in silence and just rethinking everything, working on themselves, trying to change or whatever. Spirit, what is going on with this person? They're going through. It's a page of pentacles. Definitely trying to make a move, you know, trying to go forward. Trying to go forward. They're not standing in their strength, though, guys. It's like they could be fighting with themselves. Um, not knowing how to go forward. Uh, that's with a lot of people. Seven of Cups. They may have a lot of choices um, in their head. Or they may think that you may have a lot of choices. Or you may have a lot of options. But if it's them, they know they need to choose wisely. Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's single. Living their life. Abundant. Or that could be you. The Chariot. 
So they could be coming towards you. They said it's just a matter of time. Right now they're just in the midst of changing. Seven of Cups. They may think that you have options because you're single. I don't know. Or they are. But they're definitely trying to make some moves uh, with this chariot energy here. They do have the Wheel of Fortune in their favor. So good things are coming to this person. Even though they're doing a little suffering. Six of Cups, guys. This is somebody from your past. That's coming back. Maybe they're going to pay you a visit. But they're not standing in their strength. Maybe they don't know how to go about it. You know. They are trying to manifest. Do the right thing. They're releasing um, some devil's energies. Trying to change their ways. They're trying to change their ways. So they can come towards you. They're, they are being quite persistent though. They are being quite persistent. Spirit, clarify this uh, suffering in silence. Let's see. It's Seven of Pentacles. They're reaping they're really rewards from their hard work. So good things are coming in for them, although they're suffering over an ending. Ace of Cups. This person, they have love for you, though. They do have love for you. Maybe they think if you two came together, things would, you know, you could build together. Seven of Swords. That's being very sneaky. They could be being sneaky. Seven of Swords. Maybe they're going to try to sneak back into your life. The fountain. They may be trying to sneak back into your life. Spirit, clarify this emotional loss. What are they regretting? Okay, a queen of swords in reverse. So they could have broken up with someone. Um, the queen of swords in reverse. That person, that energy is very angry. I don't think that's their energy. Maybe it's the person that they walked away from. Queen of swords in reverse. Four of wands. Something ended with this person. Four of wands is in reverse as well. Unless this is you. And they want to try again with you. King of Pentacles in reverse. So there was definitely an ending. It was an emotional loss. This could be with you. And maybe they just want to try again with you. And then we have Queen of Pentacles. They probably want to try again with you. They just know they need to choose wisely. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Cups. They're choosing to stay away right now, choosing to stay to themselves, not saying anything. Um, but we have the Three of Cups here. Maybe they want to celebrate with you. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands. So they don't know which way to go. They're confused right now. A Lover's. Hmm. Unless, guys, they're leaving someone else. They could be leaving the Queen of Swords in reverse. With the Four of Wands in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen here in reverse could be upset about this Queen of Pentacles here. Because when you go to the Nine of Pentacles, that's the Two of Wands. They're unsure which way they want to go. They're definitely single. But they have the lover's card. Spirit, clarify the lover's card. Ten of Wands. They're burdened. They're dealing with some burdens. So maybe they're unsure about staying with this lover or coming to you. It looks like they may want to come to you. Spirit, clarify the chariot. Ace of Swords. So they have clarity on where they're trying to go, what they're trying to do. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new opportunity. So maybe you two had a breakup before and then they got into another situation. But now they could be trying to sneak back to you, come back to you with the Six of Cups here. Spirit, clarify the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Three of Swords. 
their heart is broken. Their heart is broken because you're their Ten of Cups. You're where they want to be. So they do want you back. They're ending a situation. Clarify this devil in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're definitely in their ego. This is a King of Cups. So the, the devil kind of like in their head a little bit. But they're trying to be persistent. Nine of Wands. They do have some fear. Maybe they have fear about coming forward. And they feel betrayed. So they were betrayed as well. They were betrayed. They're changing, suffering in silence. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. The High Priestess in reverse. Maybe this is you. Maybe they're coming to you. Because there's definitely a lot of movement here. But maybe they just didn't follow their intuition when it came to you. Or something like that. But they have a lot of burdens. This person is stressed. They could be trying to sneak back to you. Their heart is broken. They were definitely betrayed by another person. They're clarified the Five of Swords. They were betrayed. They're in Hermit. Spending a lot of time alone. Their energy is off. Their energy is off. Let's clarify this matter of time. Let's clarify this matter of time. It's a matter of time. Nine of Cups in reverse. They're ending something. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They went through some judgment. Other people are involved in the situation. Other people are definitely involved. They was cheated on with the Two of Cups in reverse. So they were cheated on in one relationship. And now that's hurting them. They're suffering in silence. And now it looks like they want to try again with you because you feel like home to them or, or something like that. So, guys, I don't know what you're going to do with this person. Or their energy. Holy Spirit. Let's just take one. See where their head is at. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So they do want you back. They just have to be patient. Because it looks like they're either actively ending something. Or healing from something that ended. And then growth. I want to expand my consciousness. And my awareness. So they're definitely changing. Transformation. Suffering in silence wanting to get back to you i don't know guys i don't know just make sure this person is healed right you don't need any drama tell them to save that for their mama thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe